only at, were you on that 98 team, but now as the head coach watching your teammate with Tamika Catchings and, and a lot of the players here from that 98 team too, just what are the emotions like right now for you? Well, it's really exciting. You know, I think it brings back a lot of memories when you start thinking about the 98 season and um, the, the, the people. You know, it's always about the people and the memories are, are so strong and, and we have so much fun when we're able to get back together and talk about it. But also, when when your teammates Tamika Catchings, um, you love being a part of that and you love honoring her. She's as great of a player as she was, um, as amazing as she was on the court at, the, at every level. She's an even better person. She is an unbelievable human being. and. Um, you know, we're, we're better because she was our teammate. What was it like to be a part of that historic team? Well, at the time, we were just doing our job, you know, day to day, enjoying um, the opportunities that we had. And, um, you know, I don't think we understood in that moment what was going on. Um, you know, probably for me, anyway, I probably couldn't even appreciate it until we actually lost the following year. Um, but it, it, it was surreal. When you, when, and now as a coach, when I think back to what we did, I know now just how hard that was. Speaking of what you did, 39-0 and 0 national champions, how cool was it when this documentary was being filmed to kind of go back and relive some of these moments? We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun uh, talking, uh, have, <laughs> talking about our stories, uh, reminiscing. You know, some of the things that one person forgot, someone brought up, um, it's, it's special. And again, when it's about the people and you get to spend time with the people, and it, it's, those are the things you remember. You know, we, we, we remember all those fun moments um, throughout the season because it's a journey. We're, we don't just remember winning a national championship. You know, there's so much more to it than that. As you look back now, as you're about to watch you or were a part of the film, is there anything, I know we're going to watch it too, is there any moment or anything that stuck out, even just reminiscing, you guys talked about the film? Did you watch it? I haven't seen it. Oh, I was like, no. I haven't seen, I'm like, I haven't seen it either. No, I haven't. Yeah. Like, emotions to come? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> yes. I we're mean, both going to be the same way. I just said, please don't let me start crying. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh we no. Had a good time. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, we maybe it'll be. We had we'll some tears in the locker room when we were talking about this. So. Yeah, yeah, we did. I mean, <laughs> it was a big part of our life, it and it was part. so much fun. And um, and there's a big piece missing. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. For both of you as players, that was a rock star season. Just to get y'all on the bus, get you in a hotel, get you mm -hmm. through a hotel lobby. Because of them. <laughs> because of them. It was all KJ Between her, her and Shmiqua, yes, <laughs> definitely. What are your memories of that season, particularly compared to you as the one before that season, when you still won, but it certainly did not escalate to that level? Um, I think for me, comparing, honestly, for us, the three championships were all completely different. They you all, see how she said that? I did. I, I slid it in there. <laughs> I slid it in there, Maria. Um, Three championships all felt different. And this one was, I mean, it was definitely the most fun of the three. It was, well, we didn't have, we didn't have to cry after any of the games because we didn't lose any. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's really, and now as a coach in, in that position, it's ridiculous mm -hmm. what we did. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you know how Pat can motivate through the media. She, that's what, about the time I started covering the team was that special season. What a, what a time to debut. And it was the three weeks. Tamika, Shabiqua, Samika. And Pat intentionally put a story in the media, can Kelly Jolly run with the meats? Ooh. And that was like a headline. I don't even know if you remember it. <laughs> well, well, hold but, on. See, so here's the thing. She told us that people, uh, uh, parents, peers and press so we weren't supposed to pay Eliminate. any attention so okay. i'll be honest with you, this is the first i heard of that yeah so she, uh, she was trying to get a little bit under your skin uh, no i think somebody told me at the time yeah um you certainly answered the question it was yes <laughs> well it was basically my i felt like my job was easy you dribble to half court you pass you get an assist and you go play defense it was not that hard
Tamika, you get to <laughs> share a bit more of your personal story, more of your family story with this. What did that mean to you to be able to tell that side of your journey? A lot of fun. You know, I think just being able to go back and look at 97, 98, I just said over there, it's different when you're going through it. When you're going through it, you're just playing and we're having fun and it's great. But now, like, fast forward and look back, it's crazy to think all the, th I mean, even though we won, we had a lot of hiccups. We had a lot of highs and lows throughout our team. A lot of different things happened, a lot of scenarios that we had people getting in trouble, people missing curfew. We had a lot of that. But Pat reeled it all together. And I think for, for me, just being able to go back, and of course, my story is part of it, but it's the story collectively. Did you bring up the double-double the against your sister? That I did not bring that up. <laughs> we did not talk about that. Unless she talked about it, I don't know. Celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX, ladies. Go yes. ladies, right? Well, so I have to ask, you know, 97, 98, things were very different back then, but yes. Title IX was still there. So tell me a little bit about how it differs nowadays as to when you guys were playing as Lady Balls. Well, I, when we were playing, I felt like we were so taken care of, and we knew the history. Mm. Pat did a great job of teaching us the history so we could be appreciative of the people that came before. And it has just continued to grow. And what our players now have access to the resources that we have especially at the University of Tennessee where we really take care of them I mean it's more than we had you know and as as times change and and we have those opportunities hopefully our young athletes can benefit you talk about some of those stories that were brought up when you were reminiscing what stood out to you was there any funny story that you can give us a little tease into I don't know guys. if we talked about any for this film. I don't know if I don't know if we yeah, specifically talked for about for the film. It. Yeah. The funniest one is it's not really funny because it's real life, but when we were in I always go back to Nashville. Oh yeah. Against North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Not, we were down, of course, and I remember KJ coming to the huddle. I think we were down what, ten? Thirteen. Th okay. We were seven down minutes 13, to go. Seven minutes to go. Pat calls timeout. We're all sitting down. All of a sudden, all I see, KJ grabbed the stool, slammed it down, and she said, we will not lose. This will not be a Final Four without the Lady Vols. And we were all like, I mean, we are freshmen, so we're looking like, OK, all, all right. <laughs> well, I never yelled before. I never. never. I yelled at the team one time in my career, yeah. and that just happened to be it. So. <laughs> to me, that Illinois game, if you look at the final score, it's a blowout. It was not a blowout mm -hmm. at the no, arena. Do you they remember halftime? I, they I, were no. beating y'all badly, yeah. and then y'all just flipped the switch. And what was it about this team that could flip that switch? It was halftime. <laughs> That was halftime. Pat walked in, okay. looked at us, and walked out. Um, yeah, and that'll that get was it. it. <laughs> that was it. I think. Um, I think also the team, in terms of schematically, mm -hmm. the team was so powerful. We could do it so quickly. So we could take a ten-point lead, and it felt like in two minutes we were up forty. Uh, we were really powerful and could do it quickly. So we could erase a deficit. We didn't have a whole lot of them, but we could erase deficits um, in the matter of minutes. And I think that's pretty deflating if you're the opponent. Well, some of it, but, but, some, but some of it too is weapons. I mean, you look at from starting five to our bench, I mean, we didn't have weaknesses. And what I loved is if somebody wasn't performing, Pat put somebody else in. And that next person would step up. I mean, I go back to that North Carolina game. Teresa Jeter steps up, had blocks, had defensive stop back to back. Then we kind of get in the flow offensively. So there was a lot of different points in different games yeah. that other players had to step up. The media take on that game was the only team that could beat Tennessee that year was itself. Mm. After seeing what you did to Illinois, a team that was absolutely dominating the game, and then you just I don't know what the final score was, 20, 25 points? Mm -hmm. I, don't. I, don't, I don't disagree with that, but I think the beating yourself, I think it's, I think it's hard to do what we did. Yeah. I think it's really hard to do. And um, to be able to do it every single night, and you're not just going out there and playing uh, average teams. You're playing the best, and um, they're going to bring their best. Yeah. Tennessee walks in, you're going to see their best. And so for us to be so consistent, to be able to do it night in and night out, over and over and over. Honestly, looking, looking back now, that's one of the most impressive th uh, parts about it. You talk about the missing piece, the missing person that's not here tonight, Coach Summit. 
How pivotal was she in this 98 team going 39?